Someone here to see you. Oh, who is it? It's a surprise visitor. You have to guess who it is. First, close your eyes. And now, have a feel. <laughs> <laughs> Little ears. <laughs> A woolly coat. <laughs> Big toe. Oh, hey, stop that. You're tickling me. I recognise that voice. It's Leopoldo the Llama. <laughs> <laughs> well guessed, Lucy. Have you come with a story, Leopoldo? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Can we hear it, then? This is a story... All about Tallulah the Toucan. Tallulah was always up early, and every morning she would do exactly the same things. First, she'd croak a cracking good croak. Crocky, crocky, croak! Then she'd preen her silky soft feathers. <laughs> and finally, she'd pick a pretty red flower. Now Tallulah was ready for a busy day. Hi, Tallulah! Oh, hello, Adam. Hello, Jazz. Hello, Leopoldo. What are you making today, Tallulah? It's a surprise. Why don't you come back tomorrow when the surprise is ready? Come on, let's play Jumping in the Jungle. Yeah! See you tomorrow, Tallulah. <laughs> Tallulah was busy all day long. And when night fell, she covered the surprise with a blanket of leaves. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. I hope my friends will like the surprise. <sighs> But the next morning, crooky crap. <laughs> Just as Tallulah was about to pick a pretty red flower, oh, my flower! Oh no! What am I going to do without my red flower? Today will be a disaster. Tallulah decided to hide in her nest. Croaky crow. Tallulah! Oh. Huh? I'm not coming out today. But what about the surprise? 
Croaky Crow. What's the matter, Tallulah? Are you not feeling well? Oh, I haven't got a red flower. Never mind. You look almost as nice without your red flower. Come on. Let's go and see this surprise. No, no, no. I can't possibly go without my red flower. I suppose we could go looking for a flower. Mm. Mm. So that's what we did. Croaky croak. Tallulah! Look what we found! Just pick the one you like best. Understand. Only a red flower will do. Oh. Okay. She's just being silly now. Uh, the seed of the red jingle jangle flower. We can grow a flower for Tallulah. Now we wait. But Jazz didn't feel like waiting. Maybe we should just shake Tallulah out of her tree. Uh, Jazz, why don't you and Leopoldo go for a dip in the river while I wait for the seed to grow? All right. Yes, a dip in the river. Why not? Come on, Leopoldo. Now only Adam was left with Tallulah. Don't you come out without your red flower? Toucans never go out without their flower. Oh. Armadillos never climb trees. Really? Never? If I climb your tree, will you come out without your red flower? Mm. Okay. Meanwhile... Jazz? I'm only having a teeny tiny little beak. You know that's not fair. Jazz! <laughs> Tallulah didn't think Adam would manage to climb her tree. But then, Adam had a clever idea. Surprise ever! Hey, Leopoldo, <laughs> what's happened to your hair? 
Well, Leopoldo, do you like your plaits? Maybe a change of hairdo isn't such a bad idea. We all need to get used to changes every now and then. Yes. <laughs> but one thing never changes. What's that? After story time comes bedtime. Oh. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Leopoldo. And thank you for the story. 